Hey guys, it's Vanessa from Kapuing and as you can tell, today I am working from home as I have been for the last week and I'm sure it's not just me, um, a lot of you guys are also probably working from home right now. A lot of students and teachers that I also know of have uh, transitioned over to remote learning. Kapuing would love to help out our educators right now. If you are a teacher and you're interested in upgrading to Kapuing Pro for free, check out our description box below where I will include a link to our blog about that written by our CEO. And in that blog, you will find a link to apply for a free upgrade. In our last video, we talked about remote learning and how to use collaborative vid uh, video on Kapuing. And today I would love to address the questions that teachers have about using Kapuing as a platform for students to, to create and upload multimedia projects that will help keep them engaged during remote learning. So if you want to learn more about that, keep watching and I'll show you how. So I'm going to start from kapuing.com. The first thing I'm going to do is sign into my account. If you don't have an account, it's super easy to make one. You just continue with Google or continue with Facebook to create an account using your Google or your Facebook accounts that you have already. Um, if you don't have an account, I would highly suggest you make one before you um, submit the application for upgrading to a free pro workspace because if you don't have an account, there's no workspace for us to upgrade. So make sure you keep that in mind. Um, so I'm gonna log in using my Google account. And once I'm logged in, that'll bring me to a workspace that I have already. And to create a new workspace, um, I you just have to go down here to create new workspace. Pretty straightforward. Um, and I'm gonna title this. I'm gonna title this workspace history. Yeah. So I'm gonna title this workspace so it's super easy for my students to find this workspace, and for me to personally just find this workspace. And this would also help. Um, this will also help us when we're upgrading workspaces. If you have more than one workspace, please let us know which workspace it is that you want us to upgrade so it's super clear. And from here, I'm actually just gonna create a new project to have an assignment here for my students to look at. Um, that way they have something to refer back to as they're working on their assignments. So now that I've published my assignment guidelines here, I'm going to title this just so they know. Great. So now that my guidelines have been added, I'm going to go back to my workspace by clicking workspaces here. And to share this workspace with my students, you just have to click share right here. And there's two options. You can either copy this link and send it through. If you guys have an instant messenger, you can send it through instant messenger. Or if you want to personalize your message in the email, you can use this link to copy and paste into your email. But if you don't have any specific um, message that you need to write or anything, it's super easy to just invite by email. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to invite Robert at kapuin.com to this workspace, um, send invite, and that's all I have to do. The invite will be sent to Robert and he can accept and create an account that way. Um, if he doesn't have an account, it will prompt him to create one before having access to this workspace. Yeah, so I'm going to throw it over to Robert and see if he got that link. So I just got this email here from my professor, Vanessa. And if I open it up, I see it says, Join Miss Vanessa U.S. History on Kapwing. So I will just click that and it takes me right into her workspace, accept invite. And now we are in the same workspace. So let's see what assignment she's left for today. What's our homework looking like? History assignment. Create a video about how laws are made in the United States. Okay, cool. So I just need to upload and uh, publish that project into the workspace and title it with my name and date and U.S. laws. Published by March 23rd. Okay, cool. So I see here um, what I'm supposed to do. This is my assignment. And lucky for... Miss Vanessa, I already have my video done. So I will just go to my desktop here and find my video. Where is that? Right here. And I'll just drag it in. So I'm just dragging my homework assignment into the workspace and it's going to immediately upload it here. And then Vanessa is going to be able to see that homework and grade it. So this is sort of acting like a mailbox or a turn in folder for homework, but it's all online. And I even created the project right here in Kapwing. So everything stays in one place. Back to you, Vanessa. 
So upon refreshing my workspace, I noticed that one of my students, Robert, has already uploaded his project. So if I click on it, I, think something I can see it's published. If it was processing, you would just see a box that says a kit the kittens are working on your video. Or if it was an editor, it would have editing tools around it. But this is published for sure, and I will be able to grade this from here. And as you can see on this workspace, I have not upgraded to Pro yet, so it does get locked after seven days. So once I get upgraded to a Pro workspace, I'll be able to access this uh, project continuously so I can grade it whenever I want to. So that was one of the many ways that educators and teachers can leverage Kapoing to keep interacting with students and keep them engaged during this time of remote learning. If you thought this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up and comment down, to no, uh, down below to let us know what you think. If you want to see any other tutorials from us, also comment down below to let us know. And uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we'll be posting more tutorials coming up. So stay tuned.